Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth for Party from the K265 giving you all a brand new video and it's on Calvin Richardson's sixth album called I Am Calvin. And I just got released today on September 30th, so those guys are wondering and who are real R&B soul fans like your boy right here, who I've been following his career since really 15 years ago in 1999 with his album called Country Boy. So here's my review on I Am Calvin by Calvin Richardson. Now, track number one, I'm going to let you, before I go on track number one, if you guys love R&B soul music, but you like something that has like a little edge to it, you would definitely love this album. For anybody that loves true R&B music and just love music, period, in general, definitely just a great album. Now, track number one is called Before the Moment Leaves. Now, you know, it's just saying like, before the moment leaves, you know how sometimes you're in the moment with somebody or maybe, you, you know, you're feeling it or maybe you just love the person sometimes maybe either something sad or maybe just something that doesn't seem right happens. That's the type of record you go check out. Now when you get to track number two called We Gon' Fall, but I'm saying We Gon' Fall where is my mind at? We Gon' Love Tonight. Let me get that correct. We Gon' Love Tonight. Now that's the current single that's out right now. Great song. If you guys haven't seen the music video, you gotta definitely check it out on YouTube. It's out. It's been out for a while now. You guys will definitely love it. If you love R&B music and also um, background vocals from Eric Benet who signed Calvin Richardson to on this album that's out right now. It's released on Jordan House, Jordan House Records. That's Eric Benet's label slash Primary Wave and BMG. So if you guys just want to know that, that way y'all know that. But this song is one of those songs you want to get, you know, get in the mood type of tracks if you're feeling somebody or, you know, if you love that, that particular person that you're in a relationship with and you love them like a, let's say, boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband and wife is that type of um, sensual record, but it's not done, you know, disgraceful, but it's tastefully done. Now, track number three is called Hearsay. That's just one of those songs, you know, talking about you ignoring haters that are hating on you or hating on a relationship that you're in when they don't really know the truth about what's really going on. They're just going by what people are saying. You know how they say you keep people, you keep folks out your business. This is a song you definitely want to check out. And it's just saying hearsay, whatever you can't let hearsay or what people say in general. So that's the, one of my favorite records. Besides We Gonna Love Tonight, another great track I love. Now, track number four is called Unreasonable. That's just talking about, you know, maybe if you're going through something and maybe the person that you're with, they're being unreasonable and they're just being not being fair about something. You put your all and you put your love into them and you put so much into the relationship and they feel like they don't have to really do anything. Like they just didn't matter. Fortunately, we all go through those situations, no matter what age you go through. When you're on your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, or all the above, you still go through that. So that's definitely a track I think you guys will definitely love. Now, the next track I love called Dark Side of Love. It has a very R&B blues feel. And just talking about Dark Side of Love, you know how sometimes you, look, you fall in love with people, but sometimes Dark Side of Love is that sometimes you have to deal with probably either... On somebody's BS of how they, you know, if they feel like they have to make a settle, they can just do whatever they want to do in a relationship. And sometimes, yeah, you can't really do it. But I feel more like this is a dance track. So I feel like this is one of those songs you can just chill out and just not really try to just jam to and just party to if you want my aunt's opinion. Now, the next song called I'll Take Care of You, very upbeat song. I'll say it's one of those songs I feel like. Women, men will definitely love talking about you want to take care of the person that you love and who your relationship or just you want to make sure you do the you want to put your all and you want to make sure that they get the best no matter what you do and make sure they're taken care of. It doesn't have to be financially, just be like with love and just making them feel nurtured and you know feeling supported, you know, because I know a lot of times we we talk about when we take care of somebody we have to. Do all the above. So I feel like that's another great track you guys will definitely love. Now, what would I do? Love that. So I feel like it's a continuation of I'll Take Care of You. When I heard it, I was like, okay, interesting. Now, this next track I thought was very interesting. It's called More Than a Picture. And I feel like we all know that, like, you know, a lot of times a picture, how they say a picture is worth a thousand words. But a lot of times the picture can mean a lot when you look at it. But when you see the person in, you know, in person and, they make you feel good, but they more than a picture. They're a person who really puts it out there and it makes himself feel good. You will definitely love it, I would just say.
that's one of those tracks you will love in general, and I really do mean that. Now, the next track is called All This Love, and it's the remake of the um, DeBarge track, which I'm sure you guys know that El DeBarge wrote, and I just love it, and I love how Calvin Richardson, he did his version. Now, it's not like El DeBarge, he made his version for like a 2014 version. I feel like it's a great remake, because I feel like if they did a tribute for the um, DeBarge, Calvin Richardson, that'd be your version right there on this album. Definitely be great for people to hear, and I think the radio will eat it up. Now, the next track is called, man, this is the last track, track number 10, called Home in a Minute. It's just talking about you're going to be home in a minute, and you're just going to, you know, it's just about, it's just a love record, if you want my honest opinion. If you like, if you like that type of record, you're talking about Home in a Minute, but at the same time, you know, you just feel the love and the presence of that partner of yours. I know a lot of the tracks are repeating because I know I keep getting me. It may seem like that, but it's just how the album is coming out is. But I feel like if you like R&B, like all the forms of R&B, like the R&B with the blues feel that our parents and our grandparents grew up on, and like contemporary R&B that's out right now that's edgy, but at the same time has a hip-hop feel, and you like the soul music, you will definitely love this album. Make sure you get it. Like I said, it's um, released from... Called I Am Calvin from Calvin Richardson off Eric Renee's label. He's one of Eric Renee's uh, signed to Eric Renee's Jordan House Records, which is also distributed by Primary Wave and BMG. So make sure you support my boy Kev Calvin Richardson. If you want to keep up with him, you can follow him on Twitter and Instagram. But his Twitter is I Am Calvin. His Instagram is I Am Calvin Richardson. And also, if you want to um, subscribe, like I should say, subscribe to his YouTube channel. It's up here next to where you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. But up here, it'll say Calvin Richardson's YouTube channel, no matter where you guys are looking at it at. Subscribe to Calvin's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Because I know he would definitely appreciate the love. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel also up here. Or you can just push the subscribe button down here, which you guys will definitely be in a treat for. Because I definitely give you the, uh, give you the number, the real honest truth. And you will definitely love it. And if you want to keep up with me, also besides subscribing to my YouTube channel, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I do have those um, social network sites. It's at k Tukes on Twitter and Instagram. Now, the show that you're watching, the k Spot, it does have a Twitter page at k Spot. And make sure you guys, if you love R&B music and you just like just the essence of great music, make sure you thumbs up the video by liking it. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you comment after you've heard Calvin Richardson's album, I Am Calvin. Let me know what your favorite tracks are. How'd you feel about how this album sounds right now compared to, um, you know, just overall, how you feel about the album? Do you feel like it's a great album? Do you feel like it's okay? You know, let me know what your favorite tracks are, like I said. And if you guys love Calvin Richardson, hit him up on Twitter and Instagram. Let me know what you guys think about the album because I know he want to hear what your feedback is because Calvin Richardson, if you're watching this, I know I haven't talked to you in a while on Facebook and everything because he and, he and I are friends on Facebook. Calvin, if you're watching the C, or I call him C. Rich, great job on on the I Am Calvin album. You did a great job, and I think you working with Eric Benet, you know, just getting partnered up with Eric Benet was a smart move on your behalf because it's made your music more, I'd say makes better sense, but at the same time, I feel like it's right where it needs to be right now at this time, where I feel like you're really putting more music, put more thought, and I feel like you've always put thought out in your music, but I feel like it's more love into the music like it's all like it than before so i feel like you've done a great job and it's more soulful and i feel like you have definitely stamped the proof of being a true artist being in the game for 15 years so if you're watching this calvin like i said props to you no, i got number of love for you and that's about it you guys so hopefully you guys subscribe to this youtube channel like i said and subscribe to calvin's on youtube channel and make sure you just go out to go out and get i'm calvin's out on itunes and, you know, it's out on iTunes, it's out on Target, Walmart, everywhere, like in stores and online now. So, this is your boy Kenneth wrapping up this review of Calvin Richardson's album. So, have a blessed one and bye-bye.